Well, they go into pads on Tuesday. Uh, I'm I'm optimistic that this will be a bounce back season. I think last year was a disaster. I think it was a one off. However, there's a price to be paid when you don't do well, and this is kind of a stunning story. You have to win. They did not win, and now they're suffering because of what did not happen year one at Snapdragon Stadium. You know, I mean, I, in a sense, I mean, I've been critical of some of the junk involving Brady Hoke and the Aztecs, but I feel bad for Brady Hoke because that's a legitimately good coach and I think a good person and an honorable guy. But he's come through COVID. He came through two years in which they had to be a road team when they were playing in Carson while they were tearing down the old stadium. Season last year wrecked by injuries to his quarterbacks. I don't know anybody in the world that went through five quarterbacks last year. Brady Hoke had to. Mess in the offensive line, player defections, fired the offensive coordinator, Obviously, the stain and the spillover from the Matt Arisa situation did not turn out to be a good season. There were seven and six. Last two years have kind of been kind of kind of iffy, and now they're suffering because of it. John, they sold 15,974 season tickets last year to Snapdragon, almost 16,000. Their total this year is 10,079. They have lost over 5,600 season ticket holders in one year. Will some of them come back? Good question. They should come back because I think it's a, a quality football program with good kids and established coaches. They should come back because they're playing UCLA, Boise, Fresno, Nevada, all the enemy in the conference here. Hmm. What a great home schedule. But they haven't. 5,600 is a hell of a drop-off. Part of that because of the product, part of that because the prices were so high, people started to get offended thinking it was – they're. They're gouging us. So San Diego State has lowered some ticket prices. They've lowered some parking, but, quote, damage done. Uh, Aztecs have to win. If they can bounce back and if they can put together something that's like 10-2 and two or 11-1 and one or even 9-3, even and three, maybe the fans will turn around and come back. Of course, an invitation to the Pac-12 might ignite the community too, but it, that's a phenomenal number of cancellations on season tickets. It's a big number. I mean, do they still ask for a, what do they call it, a seat license fee or a donation to the Boosters Club? I mean, it's more than just the price of the ticket, right? Yeah, you'll be writing a check for add-ons mm -hmm. if you buy season tickets for the Aztecs, but that's that's commonplace a lot of places. I don't okay. care if you're at Indiana in the Big Ten or you're at Rice University or you're at Oregon State. It, it, it comes with being a, quote, booster and supporter. But... I'm optimistic. I, I, I'm so impressed with Ryan Lindley, obviously getting a veteran quarterback back, how deep they are at running back, how unbelievably gifted I think they are going to be uh, defensively. they got to figure out their top three defensive linemen, but they have a load of linebackers, a load in a secondary. they got Brady Hoke's wild-ass defense that they play that nobody else could figure out. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think it's probably a bounce-back season, but – they're going to be a pile of empty seats at Snapdragon. That's that's the end result of what happened a year ago. Who's the um, the favorite going in on the Mountain West Conference? Well, that's a good question. Um, I'm trying to think. Who did they pick? I think it was Boise State 1, which surprised me because Boise's changing quarterbacks. Air Force was a surprise pick number 2. Fresno, which does not have its quarterback, Jake Hayner, who's gone to the NFL, they were picked 3rd. And the Aztecs, the aftermath of losing so many linemen, offense, defense, um, and they were picked fourth. So they got something to prove, but I think with that leadership, they'll prove it. But boy, there'll be empty seats. That's a lot of empty seats. Yeah, a lot of chairs there. But you know what? That stadium, I mean, they've been hosting a lot of big games, mm -hmm. a lot of soccer, a lot of uh, other kinds of lacrosse concerts. So I think people are warming up to that as an asset here in the San Diego community. But if the, if the Aztecs start winning, then I think they have a shot to start fill that up again. We'll see if the excitement comes back because you show us excitement a year ago this week as we're getting ready for the first opener against Arizona. And then the Aztecs lost to the Wildcats and lost to the weatherman and they lost their fans in the, in the process. Okay. So we go from